Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the studio, Mr. Wade Fun. Nico. <laughs> South African Athletic Royalty. Good morning, sir. Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me. Sure, listen, um, you are the first guest that we've had in studio mm -hmm. since the pandemic. You know that. So I'm the... I broke the pandemic curse. You did, but I'm actually a little bit nervous because this radio station already had something to do with um, you not running after breaking the world record <laughs> in a certain rugby match. <laughs> a, a tag rugby game. I don't want you to come in here now and the Olympics is down the road and then yeah. you get COVID and they trace it back to Sherlin. Mm. <laughs> Not another one, you know. <laughs> but Wade, just to be clear, you said that that was all you. You were trying to be competitive and you did a sidestep. Yeah, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the injury that went around the world, eh? Yeah. Now, yeah. how are you now? Because, I'm, I mean, I saw you hobble on crutches for a very long time. I was following you mm -hmm. on Instagram mm -hmm. and stuff. You look to be walking just fine. Yeah, I believe I'm 110% now. I'm excited for the upcoming season and obviously the Olympic Games coming up. So I'm looking forward. I think everything is now back to where I want it to be. And it's really just about putting in that hard work to get back to where I, be where I belong on the track. And what have they told you? Because we spoke to Chad Duclos last week and we said, who's contacted you? Did Swimming SA or Sascock contacted you and said, OK, guys, this is what's happening. Olympics, looks like it's going ahead, get ready. Yeah, I mean, if we look at all other sort of sporting codes right around the world, it's happening. So Olympics being one of the biggest sporting events every four years, I think it definitely will happen. It's, it's just about time to, uh, or about us prepping ourselves and making sure that we're ready when, when the gun goes. And of course, the Olympics were supposed to happen last year. Mm -hmm. Are you grateful for the extra time, you know, essentially? a year more to put into your training well i think it's it's definitely a mix between mm. um obviously losing out on time to mm. get back on the track and competing as as a competitor the best way to get uh, better and improve yourself is to compete against mm. the best in the world which we somewhat uh missed out on this last few years now and at the same time, yes, it was a blessing as well, um, having more time to work on myself physically, mentally, spiritually. And um, I think it's, it's just now about time to try and mix the two together and, and get myself back on the track and, and see where I'm at. And that's always a, a great indicator to see, OK, what's what's needed, what's missing and and, and how I can improve myself to make sure that I'm, I'm ready for the Olympic Games. Have you run another 43? No. <laughs> Since the injury? <laughs> no, not yet. Um, 43 seconds. That was your world record. What, 43.03? 43.03. Yeah. What's the closest you've gotten to that since since your injury recovered recovery? Yeah, well, um, running that type of times, you don't really do it just like... <laughs> Is that a like Olympic adrenaline? No. Is that a Olympic? Day? You don't just wake up. <laughs> <laughs> so not even when Van Nikar does that casually every morning. No, no it's, a, it's not a casual <laughs> thing. We wait. We save it for payday. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've always watched you guys, you know, while in the qualifiers, when, when like, when, and especially like the, the, the sprinters in the middle distance runs, yeah. like you, when you get to the last 10 meters, you see you've won, you just like step off and you almost just canter through. Yeah, well, um, especially for, I guess, us where we, it's the big competitions where mm. we'd love to save that mm. type of time for so and those competitive times. And obviously, play, uh, who you compete against and, and who's in the in the race with you plays a massive role on, is it time to switch on or is it just a race where we're going to go for the win today? Yeah. Or all depends on how you're going to strategize, all depends on who's in the race with you and who's going to push you and and what's needed. I mean, there's no use me trying to break the world record in bloom. Um, mm. I think it's, it's <laughs> the, best, the best time is to try and do it in, in the, at the big competitions mm -hmm. against the best in the world. Mm -hmm. Like you say, save it for payday, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. you, you certainly know when to peak. <laughs> no. So sorry, Sean, before we get to the... Just, uh, so so, so what, what sort of times are you running now? What's the fastest you can get to now? I mean, um, I, I, I feel good. I'm not going to put out any times now to put... Uh, but I, I feel mm -hmm. confident, I feel strong. Is that because you don't want the opponents to know? Um, 
I, I feel good. Mm-hmm. I feel confident. I feel mm-hmm. like I'm faster and quicker than I've ever been before. So That's it's good. just about putting it together. It's one thing saying it, but it's a different thing doing it on the mm-hmm. track. So I'm all about making sure that I take the correct steps to get myself to where I want to be. And it's, 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 I need to respect the process. I, mm-hmm. I mean, I came from a, a massive injury and it was obviously very hard and it's, it's now just about a work in progress to get back. And as I said earlier as well, we, we need to compete. I need to mm-hmm. get myself back on the track and against the best in the world. And that's how my performances will start improving as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And it is so nice to hear that you are progressing mm-hmm. and making moves. One of those big moves is that you have now split ways with our beloved Tani and yes, That yes. must have been a difficult decision. Yeah, very difficult. Um, but I think I'm ready for a new challenge. I want to try and um, get out of my comfort zone and make sure that I can... Uh, reap this opportunity and and not take it for granted so obviously for me right now is just trying to seek growth and Mm -hmm. trying to seek uh, a new challenge for myself and and get myself out of the comfort zone that i'm in right now so which uh, varsity (coughs) which university are you gonna go to no i'm just going to moving yeah just just moving where which which town florida Ah. the the town that everyone says crazy things happen (laughs) that's what we hear yeah Is, is bloom gonna give you a farewell (laughs) <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm cool I'm <laughs> sure so so is this sort of sort of like our uh, high performance center for super athletes like yourself um, at the moment they've got some some top athletes over there um, and it's a, a big Adidas um, running base group right. so uh, I think I'll do well there mm. and are you going there now like soon as soon as possible will be, will be nice, um, but we're just waiting for permission to travel with the with traveling ban. And who's yeah. traveling with you? Wifey, obviously. Is mommy coming with you as well? Uh, at, at the moment, wifey is, yes, um, but she still needs to sort out all her sorts of things of before course. we can get there. And then Wade van Niekerk, do you ever get used to internationals calling you van Niekerk? Van Niekerk. <laughs> <laughs> From no church. <laughs> Who is that guy? <laughs> Wade van Niekerk does it again. I think you get used to it. Um, as long as I win, I guess. It's <laughs> fine. You can call me whatever. <laughs> I also have one more congratulations for you. The Laureus Ambassadorship, yes, which was yes, recently yes. announced, which mm-hmm. I think is very exciting. And mm-hmm. you also seem very excited about that yeah it's i mean it's very special um i'm very excited to be able to give back and to inspire um i mean if we look at the the names and the personalities that I, i'll be associated with is, mm-hmm. is guys that inspired me mm-hmm. growing up and mm. it's, it's weird now being one of those guys um trying to inspire the next generation and i know the impact that um, personalities uh, which the Loris um, guys have now what impact they had in, on me to to want to break through international to barriers be and, and be <laughs> where, where I am today um, yeah. and yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing that I can now hand that over to the next generation of athletes as well yeah. you're a role model way it's weird, yeah. we love you <laughs> what do you have to say because somewhere there's a young girl, young boy listening to you right now saying mm-hmm. <gasps> Wait for Nick Ark is on the radio. What do you have to say to those kids? <laughs> You're putting me under pressure now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, 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 but it's, it's very special. Um, it's something that I take full responsibility for. Um, mm. I love my country. Um, I, I enjoy seeing how the, the great talents and, and, mm-hmm. and, and the great sports people and not just sports people, but personalities that comes out of this country. I've mm-hmm. always said that we are a powerhouse. Yeah. Mm. In, in so much ways and it's, it's, it's amazing knowing that I can just put my little bit of contribution out there by inspiring the next you know I've, I've, I've watched you run um, like in watching you run on TV mm-hmm. and watching you run like next to you it's 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 very yeah. different experience very because different, yeah. he doesn't run he like he he glides he slides <laughs> like he's on yeah. slippers this is what i want to ask because we get goosebumps watching mm-hmm, you run mm-hmm. do you give yourself goosebumps by the amount of talent you have <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> like oh my Does word i'm way, way for nick <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, is he lacking his own Instagram post? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wade, what, what, what sort of... Um, you've always, you, all you athletes, you've always got headphones on. Mm -hmm. What are you listening to in your, in your ears there before you run? Um, my music taste, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very easy. Mm -hmm. I like, mm -hmm. like, chilled music and so on, but I can go from, like, rap music to gospel, like, <laughs> wow. <immediately. laughs> From the church to the so club. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm just yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm Let's go, let's rip it, let's roll. <laughs> He's diverse. Yeah, my wife always fights with me if she's driving with me. I would go from, uh, my music would go from a rap music, then she'll just give me a weird look like, oh, what's going on? Wait, don't you know that women control the radio yeah, in the car? Yeah, everything. No, in actual fact, the kids do. So <laughs> when you have kids, my man, listen, all the best of luck to you. The, you so the whole country's rooting for you, dude. Thank um, you, thank you. You're just an incredible south african thank you and go there bring home the gold again mm -hmm. at it's least other way yeah before you go to like back to america just mm -hmm. hop back here from tokyo show us and then <laughs> do what needs to be done yeah. yes <laughs> wait for Nick. so good to see six to nine a.m kfm mornings with darren sherlin and sibs